The AVR DB MCU family built upon the low power performance of the AVR core with a selection of core independent peripherals and a fully loaded intelligent analog portfolio. The device family currently offers a variety of package options from a dip socket package all the way to a VQFM package as small as 5x5mm. It also offers different pin counts of 28 pins, 32 pins, 48 pins, and 64 pins. The AVR-DB family shares a lot of common features with the AVR-DA family, with different key features that focuses on different applications. Let's check out the common features first. They both have efficient AVR cores. For memory resources, these devices offer from 32K bytes up to 128K bytes of self-programmable flash memory, 512 bytes of EEPROM, and up to 16K bytes of SRAM. The internal clock can run up to 24 MHz with single clock cycle execution and hardware multiplier. For low power applications, it has three sleep modes that give you the flexibility of controlling the power consumption. The device gives a robust operation all the way up to 5.5 volt for increased noise immunity within a temperature from negative 40 up to 125 degrees Celsius. Both device families are recommended for safety critical applications. Documentations such as FMEDA reports and safety manual along with certified compiler are provided. These devices' families are packed with the latest core independent peripherals that are easy to configure and can greatly reduce the CPU usage with low power and quick responsiveness. However, some key features differ the way the two MCUs are used. While the AVRDA enables control functionalities with a peripheral touch controller, the AVRDB family contains extra analog and digital features for analog and digital signal conditioning. It is integrated with an analog signal conditioning peripheral, including three operational amplifiers. The multi-voltage I.O. ports enable two different VDD voltage levels within one device. The device family also supports a high-frequency crystal oscillator as a main clock source, and offers a clock failure detection with functional safety in mind. Let's take a closer look at a couple key features that the AVRDB offers. The analog signal conditioning peripheral is essentially a combination of three op-amps. Those op-amps are extremely flexible, as you can configure them into almost any way you need. They can be used just as standalone op-amps with external connections through I.O. pins, or you can leverage the internal resistor ladder to create a programmable gain amplifier. Nonetheless, two op-amps can be combined to form a differential amplifier that can be used together with a 12-bit differential ADC on the device. Or, you can even combine all three of them to form an instrumentation amplifier. Microchip offers a full set of toolchain from circuit simulation all the way to output signal visualization, so you can use those op-amps just like an analog designer. MPLAB MINDY is a simulation tool that offers the op-amp SPICE model on the AVRDB so you can build your desired circuit and simulate it. For coding, MPLAB Code Configurator or MPLAB Start are two graphical code generation tools that both support the AVRDB, so you can see the internal circuit while generating your code. After you get the code running, MPLAB Data Visualizer can show you how the actual output signal looks like. Another key feature that enables a lot of system flexibility is the multi-voltage I.O. ports. Traditionally, if the MCU is communicating with or controlling other silicons that requires two different supply voltages, you have to use a level shifter to shift up or down the voltage level in order to make the system work. With the MVIO, you can get rid of all the level shifters as two different supply voltages can be used by two different I.O. ports on AVRDB. Both voltages can range from 1.8V to 5.5V, and the ports can be used just as normal with peripherals such as wired communications or timer counter peripherals with PWM waveform outputs. The hardware and software development tools make the AVRDB extremely easy to prototype, so your design can go to market faster. 
The devices are supported with a variety of IDEs and graphical code configurators like MCC and START. The AVR128DB48 Curiosity Nano Board has resources such as onboard programmer debugger, push button, LED, and access to all the pins of the AVRDB MCU. For more information on the AVRDB MCU family, such as application notes and code examples, please go to the device family webpage in the video description area, or just hit the Buy Now link and start prototyping with the Curiosity Nano board. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.